In the developing world, it is often said that to educate a girl is to educate a nation. So in 2014, when the U.S. Agency for International Development sought partnership to promote gender equity, they looked to experts from the African Studies Center at the University of California, Los Angeles, who along with the University of Rwanda, collaborated to launch a $1 million program aimed at educating and empowering women. Women, to me, are very critical in any society because if you educate uh, women, you really empower a society, you, you empower a generation. And the women are always engaged in a number of uh, productive activities, especially within our African setting. And that's why we feel that if women also get the same privileges and opportunities that men have, and also have the capacity to, to be able to seek for those opportunities, will be way away from where we are today. Mm -hmm. Managed by the Higher Education for Development, the program focused on Rwanda, which complements the U.S. on issues concerning gender equity and equal opportunity in education. While the U.S. is regarded as advanced in issues of gender equity, Rwanda leads the world with the highest number of females in legislative government at 64%. Despite this, culturally defined gender roles in the country still persist. In our culture in Africa, the education of girls is not the first priority. Boy come first. And that's wrong. When you claim that uh, you are establishing unity for development, you cannot afford to leave anybody behind. So women have to be encouraged. Apparently you have pretty good success in matriculation in elementary and secondary school, but that starts to drop off somewhat after the teenage years. And one result is that the pipeline of talent for women narrows and narrows over time. And of course that has consequences for women themselves, but also has consequences for the society. It's very hard to think of any society developing without the full participation of all its citizens. If we look at uh, demographics in terms of enrollment, uh, both in our students and as well as uh, even academic and administrative staff, the numbers are not equal. If you look at the ratios of female to male, you find that it is really wanting. It's about 60 something to 30 something. So th that is a big gap. And so we felt that we need to empower women. Women can take up any course, engineering, and any job men do, women can do. And we have seen that. So the policy, the gender equality in this country, equal opportunities, create a very good, compelling reason for us to encourage the education of the girl child as much as we do it for the boy. Over the course of several months, both universities engaged in intense workshops and dialogue that led to a proposed solution to help advance women's education in Rwanda. What we're doing today uh, represents one of our, I call it a kind of culminating kind of activity, and that is the e-learning platform. There are all kinds of barriers to women's participating in, in education. You know, sometimes they're simple as physical distance barriers, such as the access, relative accessibility uh, of education to women in urban areas versus the lack of accessibility to women in rural areas. And we concluded that one modality for outreach ought to be uh, an e-learning system, which would allow women who are married or who live in rural areas to access training without being full-time students. So we think that not only has great potential for Rwanda, but we think it has potential for many societies in the world, which are really quite similar to Rwanda. Ultimately, we said if we have to talk of quality education, we have to talk of access. As you know, in some of these third world countries, internet connectivity is a challenge. Lights, electricity is a challenge. Okay? So we asked ourselves, how can we help, how can we equip actually some of these rural teachers who are passionate about acquiring advanced education, graduate education, and yet 
they are teaching in these rural places cannot afford the transportation of back and forth. Some of them are mothers. They have three, four children, but they are so passionate about advance, getting an advanced degree. So the component of e-learning came in, okay? And we said, okay, how do we go about this? What we are looking at is that the, the education will be a little bit more cheaper with the online uh, learning and it will be able to uh, accessed from anywhere. So women don't have to leave their homes to come to settings like this to, to, to come and study, but they can study from the comfort of their homes, taking care of other chores within their home state, and still get the degree that other people get while seated in uh, comfortable classrooms. So the platform is both online and offline. For the online, it focuses more on the lecturers and the students. So once a lecturer logs in, they can upload notes, they can upload books, they can upload assignments for students, they can send a message to all students as a communication, and they can also start um, a discussion forum. So they can add all the course activities that normally they do that, um, they would have to print out the notes and maybe let students buy them or have them photocopy the notes. So this platform allows lecturers to even provide um, the course materials without being in the physical classroom. So at the comfort of their offices or home or wherever they are, they can send students assignments. They can upload a book. So for students, whatever their lecturer has uploaded, they get to see. They get to download the notes, they get to do the assignments, and even send it back to the lecturer they get to ask questions. I didn't understand this without coming to class. This platform is going to have an access to a library. You know, they will not have to drive miles and miles away to go and sit in a library to sit and study. We are looking forward to many universities wanting to share their libraries with us. With this platform, the students are going to see how this platform is going to totally change their lives. It is going to give the College of Education uh, an important transformative tool. Women have so many duties to accomplish at home. So when a woman has her own laptop full of notes and the works, she accomplishes her duties at home and she continues to follow uh, lessons using a learning program. We started this program and it is necessary, helpful and we really like it. Now the challenge of course will be if it has to be done countrywide as a country, I'm sure after seeing the benefits of this, uh, we'll be thinking of how can we easily access computers at an affordable price and easily access internet at the price that even an elementary school teacher is able to afford. What we need is more partnership uh, in addition to what you said is doing and uh, if other partners can also join us, mm -hmm. I think we can make a difference as far as education is concerned mm -hmm. and also as far as the uh, women empowerment uh, is, uh, is concerned. Through this initiative, I think we've been engaging in a number of uh, things to be able to promote this. We are not there yet, but we believe that with time, we'll definitely get there. Inspired by the success of this project, UCLA and URCD will be exploring ways of building on the e-learning outreach and research components. The partner's experience over the last three years has shown that these are critical to expanding access and enhancing quality in education in Rwanda. There is no reason whatsoever to mistreat the girl child. And that's what we in Rwanda are fighting against. We need to be able to develop care, provide for, and educate all children because all have the power 
to develop the nation. Girls and boys are in our army, in our police, in business, in the positions of leadership. They are in the parliament, actually we have 64 in the parliament. Rwanda is, is gender sensitive. In order to be able to support this policy, we must do it from a grassroots, from a primary, secondary, university, PhDs and masters and PhDs, be able to develop the mass, the mass power, boy, both boys and girls. That's the whole purpose of doing this.